Last but not least, my favorite test, granule loss. What I see as the true indicator of what makes a shingle last the longest and what can make the best shingle. The longer your granules stay on your shingles, the longer your roof lasts. The granules are the lifeblood of your roof. What happens when you lose your granules? Well, you have exposed asphalt and two things can happen. You have dry rotting. When you put a, a tire out there in the sun in a parking lot, over a year, you'll see cracks, you'll see splits because the sun, the UV rays, will just tear it apart and dry rot it and you'll see, you'll see cracks develop. The same thing happens to asphalt shingles. It's no different. It's still made from the same components as any rubber tire. The other thing, you'll have water pooling. Now it may be small, but just like when you see in a parking lot, if you have a small little crack, water gets in and it doesn't matter if it's a large scale or small scale, water and ice still develop the same way. And when you have micro fractures from the UV ray cracks, the water will come in and start to wedge it out and split it even further. If your granules stay on your shingles, then there's no area for the sun rays to dry rot out that asphalt. And not only will your roof last longer, but it's gonna look nicer and it'll look younger for a longer period of time. So not only aesthetics, but definitely performance. So when you're looking at shingles, I think granular loss should be one of the key indicators with what brand you choose. Now, how did we perform this? There is a YouTuber out there who performs tests by picking up a bundle, putting it over their shoulders and placing it down and repeating that several times and then unloading the packaging to see how many granules fell out. You know, there are some shingles that are more prone to granule loss within the bundles, and that's pretty indicative of how everything came out with the grading. But we wanted to try to give it a fair shot and true indication of applying friction to the shingles. When we install new roofs, we're walking up on the shingles and we are gonna be grinding and having foot traffic all over them. So that friction is going to just have a lot of granules fall off anyway, just depending on what shingle it is. But that foot traffic is going to really indicate how many granules you lose on the initial install day one. And then from there, it's just really up to the quality of the asphalt to keep it there. So the way that we measured granule loss was taking an electric wire brush and applying the same speed, the same amount of force, and the same length over each shingle. After we applied the wire brush over the shingle, we then took all the granules together and we weighed it in a gram scale. And then all we did was rank them from one to 12. This I think is a true indication of granule loss because it applies a surface friction and then converts it into an applicable, how do they fall off? So our top contenders for granule loss, you had Malarkey up as number one, Owens Corning as number two. And again, as you can see, you can tell by the quality of asphalt, how well those granules are bonded and resistant to friction and wearing. The lowest rank shingles, you have IKO, you have GAF, and you have Atlas Pinnacle Pristine. Um, and it's pretty much across the board with all their shingles in there. So again, it comes down to the quality of asphalt that you see.